Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. As a PC professional, I get this question all the time. How do I make my computer faster? And a lot of times folks are talking about their laptops. In this case, I'm going to go over an HP 8470P, which is an older laptop. It's about five years old, but it still has decent spec. For example, it comes with an i5. So of course, we're going to want to get as much as we can out of it by upgrading it or replacing some of the components that make it a little bit faster. In this video, we're going to concentrate on how to replace RAM and our hard drive. The best thing we could do for our hard drive is replace it with a solid state drive, especially in a computer that's this old. If you're interested in buying this type of laptop, I'll post an affiliate link in the description box below, also to a decent solid state drive that you can use to upgrade this computer. So here we have our 8470P laptop. Now let's see how we can upgrade and uh, or swap out parts on it. Let's just go ahead and flip it over on the back side like we normally do. And we always know that there's a back plate in here, so we're going to have to remove this back plate. But first we need to do is remove the battery, right? We don't want any leftover residual charge left in um, that could cause damage to any of your components, especially the new ones that you're putting back in. So how do we remove the battery? There's a little tab here, and you can see a little, a little sign here for the battery, and it tells you to kind of push this tab over to the, to the right. In your case, the way you're looking at it, it's going to be to your left. So you just push on it until you see it red, and it has actually a little spring on it, so you have to kind of hold on to it, and then simply you just pull out the battery back here. Now, in order to remove this back plate that covers all of our components, it's kind of similar to it, except it's this other tab, and you can see there's a little sign here that you can you know kind of go by that tells you that it's going to remove the back plate. So it's the same deal, you push it, in my case, to my left and your right, and then you just kind of push it back, this whole thing. Again, hold it because it's on a spring. Push it back, and you don't actually, it doesn't actually slide out. Once it comes out, just a little bit like so, you would have to just lift it out, right? And then obviously you can let go of your little tab. So first thing we have here are, you know, a few components that you can change out. Some of them are very self-explanatory, but I'll go ahead and go over some of the typical ones that you might want to upgrade or swap out. First thing, here's our Wi-Fi adapter. It's very simple. There are just two screws here, right? Two screws here, and then you pop it out. Let's go ahead and try that. This is our Wi-Fi adapter. In case it goes bad, you take the little screws out, put them to the side, And after we do this, it simply just slides out. You see how it pops up? This is very typical. It kind of pops up, up on its own. Don't pull by the wires. See if you can grab it by the component itself. And then just tug on it, right? All right. So that's in case your Wi-Fi adapter dies out. Same thing, put it back in. You just kind of put it on an angle. You see how it's a little tilted on an angle? That's how it goes in first. And then you can freely just push it down. Okay, and then you get your little screws. Luckily this little this screwdriver is a little, little bit magnetic, so that helps a little bit. Typically you don't want any magnetic components around your computer equipment. But in this case, just a little bit of magnet magnetism helps, you know, to put it back in. To, you know, to kind of get a better hold of these little screws. You see how small they are? So that really, really helps. Let's uh, look at our RAM. So this is our RAM. If you want to upgrade it, this one's already upgraded, or this already has, well, you can say it's for upgrade. These are four gigabyte sticks. So in order to remove them, these little tabs here, you just have to push them out like that, like so, and it's going to basically release the tension on the memory connector, which is right here. And this thing is going to go up a little bit, similar to our Wi-Fi adapter. You see how it pops up, and then you just slide it out. And in order to put the new RAM back in, you just do a reverse. Make sure it goes all the way in, so you don't, you pretty much don't see most of this copper uh, connectors. And then you push it down, feel free to push it down, and then it's going to snap in, and you just kind of make sure that these little tabs are snapped back in. And there you go, that's, that's how you upgrade your RAM. Now let's go to the main thing that's most likely you will be changing in order to provide better performance for this five-year-old laptop, and that is to change the hard drive out, right? So in order to remove this hard drive, we have to kind of pull on this little 
It's kind of a weird adapter bracket that we have going on here. But you can see the little arrow that's pointing that way. We just kind of have to pull on it because there are two tabs here, one here and one there, that are holding this bracket in, right? This this whole contraption in. So we just have to kind of pull on it, pull on it like so. You see how these tabs were being held actually by this here, this little piece of plastic? They were basically shoved in right there. So we just have to pull on to kind of, you know, separate it. Okay, now I'll just kind of leave that aside here. In order to actually remove the hard drive, we have three screws that we have to deal with. It's like there's one here and there are two here, right? And they're all on springs. This is very typical. So first I'm going to remove this one here. This just kind of, this, what this does, you see it's on a spring. It's actually not going to, you know, fall out or anything like that. That's just by design. So it's on a spring, it's going to stay like that. As soon as the pop up, as soon as the spring pops up like that, you know it's released. You don't have to force it any further. Same thing with these. I'm going to unscrew this one. And I'll show you a little spring that's on there. This one's almost out. I think that's good. Same thing with this one. Okay, almost there. So, okay, so that's released. Now in order to remove the hard drive, you see how there's a little gap here? We have a little gap action there. Um, that's The whole point of it is so you can actually push the uh, hard drive that way. And actually, you can actually use this little, little tab to help you out. So in order to remove it, we have to slide it that way, right? We have to slide it that That's why there's a little, little room left there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. See, very simple. This is why that tab is designed. Now you can see that your hard drive is released, right? Here's your serial connector and here's your power connector, right? These are very similar to your desktop, right? And now, you just basically pull it out like this. And now, if you want to put in a new solid state drive, which by the way, I will put the link in the description for a decent solid state drive that you can use to replace this with. Um, it would be very simple to uh, install. So let's go ahead and remove it. In order to remove from this metal plate, you have to basically unscrew these screws here. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's one. You know what, I'm just gonna use this a little bit. Here is a leverage point so you guys don't see my hands trembling. Okay, now that we have our screws loose, right? I, I tell people sometimes I have a screw, screws loose, you know, because, you know, it's funny. Anyways, now that our screws are out, we can basically just take out our hard drive. Take it out like so. And just kind of remember how it's positioned so that way you can align it that way. Uh, b basic rule on this one is you just basically kind of look at the, uh, the electrical components that are kind of exposed here. They always go down so they're protected by this back plate, right? The same thing, uh, your solid state drive is going to look just like this when it comes to components. Obviously it's going to be plastic, it's not going to have moving parts. And you put it back in reverse, like that. Put your screws back in. We're almost done here, I'm putting in my last screw. Okay, now in order to put it back in, make sure it's aligned properly to here. You can always kind of have a look, you see how this is aligned that way. You can always visually check. You can see how they align just like so, right? Now we know we are facing the right position. Good rule of thumb on this one is look at the CEF. You can see the copper color components there. And then you just basically let it, just kind of let it fall in, honestly. Just let it fall in. Now it's in the right position. Now we, all we got to do is just push it that way. Remember how we pulled this way? Now we just have to push it back in. And you can actually hold on to the, uh, the plate, this metal plate as well. It's actually very easy to push it back in. And then we just retighten our screws. <clears throat> we don't want to leave any screws loose. Screws loose. Okay, that's done. Push this back in, again pull on this little tab so the little tabs pull back in 
and now we all all we got to do is put our cover back on in reverse. Remember, we had to leave a little bit of gap when we pushed it out, so we're just going to, you know, just lay it flat like like so, and just pull on it like this. We have to pull on the little tab and push it back in. Okay, that's good. And similar with the with our battery that we pushed back in. Make sure that these things are locked so it's not red. And there you have it guys, ready to go. If you're interested in buying this laptop, I will go ahead and post a link to Amazon in the description box below, affiliate link, and also solid state drive, very affordable solid state drive in the description box below. Guys, I wish you best of luck. Now you have a really decent laptop with an i5 and a solid state drive that should serve you for a long time. Good luck to you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.